Hi there, welcome back. Back to good King Carmen of Bavaria. We're fine, even though we're infirm, so we're technically not at all fine. But we're still fine because of our cat and fresh air and exercise <laughs> with our queen. What would we want to do? Hmm. I mean, we've just been dubbed the Holy Warrior. So part of what we want to do is um, wreck it on Polabia. Yeah, he's been coming. He's, he's having that coming. He's, he's not the strongest. He's also no allies, but a lot of money. What would we like? We would like to get this duchy in a holy war. Here we go. Yeah, it's not about taking these ourselves. It's about Christianizing and stuff. So let's do that. Where can we get over? We can go get from Leuchtenberg to the barony of Cheb, maybe. That might be an option, yeah. So. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. It's gonna be... Yeah, a pretty good, a pretty good challenge because there's surely going to be more people adding into that, and money might become sparse. But we can ask our head of faith for gold. <laughs> he will hate us for it, but hey. Um. Grandson in law, nah. A nephew, they still don't accept. We can call allies to war. Duchess Emma, mm, yeah, sure. And we can do that. And calm one of a thousand faces in the county of Berry. Until he arrives, it will be far too late. King Charles the Bald. He's not currently in a war. Let's keep him coming. We have we have way more prestige than we need to have. Spray some Matthew, here comes the tax refund. How is he? He's feeling fine. Ah well, we might not live that long anymore. Oh gods, a Dalbert died, probably in our prison. Excellent, excellent. Mm, whom else do we have in our prison? Oh, no one. Well then. <laughs> well then. Uh, I'll go over there. Might just go over, over there ourselves to the tribe of Reichenbach. Um, yeah, we may even go to the capital actually, just directly. Uh, oh, they're coming in now. Mm, look at that. Look at that. What are you doing? Okay, that's devious. We will go here, we'll go this way. Maybe we can meet them there. St. Mary is a rodent killer. Keep up the good work. Yeah, that's our cat. And we are now following this troop. Trying to get... Oh, oh, what the heck? Now we're in... What is this? What are we fighting here, even? These guys are... Can we catch them? No, but we can get here, maybe. As far ah, we we kind of got them. Ha, nice. Us, the holy warriors of, against Miroslav Bogorski. The fight's now in strategical impasse. Sitting around the map table with Count Houghton and Duke Guntbert, discussing our strategy 
for the ongoing war. Count Houghton, the Lecher of Crunch. I mean, it's got many kids, and he's a good knight. Um, Houghton bangs his fist on the table, loudly proclaims we should charge the enemy directly, crush them with the sheer might of our armies. But Gunnbert sits back and patiently advocates for us to secure critical locations and wait for the enemy to come to us instead. Uh, we can go for everything at once. They're coming now. There's more coming in into this bad location for them. Our nephew created another branch and we we're fighting and fighting knights getting wounded what a battle that is really we capture a lot of combatants who do we have here yeah now he's got some soldiers definitely and we can go i don't know here maybe can go over here that would be fine or would it wait for me nah get to the tribe here siege we're sieging well We'll need a lot of sieges, so this is probably a good strategy to get there. Mm -hmm. Gained a lot. Um, maybe we could ransom someone. Can we? Not really, but maybe we could get a good knight by looking at Saul. He's a passable knight. He's Taltosist. What the heck? A gracious adventurer. Let's get him to us. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. And we're sieging Polabia. Just as we needed to. They're running away. They're uniting there somewhere. Pretty sure of that. Ha! Now we can... Can we recover here? Not at all. Not at all. Let's go over to the tribe of Mizne. There's fights going on here between Silesia and others. All enemies at once. These guys, Charles the Bald is helping out. I'm glad I called him in. We now control what? Drzezani? Oh well. I guess. Getting in there, soon we'll have the capital. That will be great. I can only do these weird strategies because we are a logistician, right? Hey! Hello, Radomil! We won! We won. Disband the armies. And we can celebrate, eh? Oh, they even built sparring grounds or something in Meissen. Wonderful. Whom do we have here? Eva? Can ransom her. Branivs love. Slupska. Wow. He's a good one. Uh, he's also a craven. We should recruit him. He has 20 freaking learning. That's fantastic. And now we just need some people to take over these lands. 
Reichenbach, Wolkenstein, Dresden, Görlitz, Meißen, Naumburg, Cottbus, Eilenburg. That's quite a number. Whom do we know? Who could take over? Count Emmerich of Lito Merice. Lord Mayor Waldo of Boleslav. The Ban of Slavonia. Count Emmerich can't take on more, right? I mean, he has three more to take. He's got two kids, but we can also go and... I mean, we're for the Carolingians, right? So there's definitely something we could do there. How's our family? Our brothers are dead. Ah, the kids, the kids of their kids. No, there's there's not much Carolingian here, but maybe. I mean, Eckehard is doing well. More, he's a little bit possessed. He's really possessed. And Count Arnulf of Prague could get three more counties together. I wonder how. Is it because of this guy? Yeah, he's got. Yeah, that's too much. Anyways, um, do you have kids yet? No. Um, we don't know. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Let's sweep. Whom could we have there? Wallace Lover, our cupbearer. Princess Wartrun. Nah, that's just. That's weird. Don't really know. There's not that many people. A rich guard calling. Okay. Yeah, then we need to go to our friends. Mm. Count Emmerich. He's here, he could also get Görlitz and Corpus. Like, let's give him three counties. It's probably a big mistake for the next one taking over, but hey, we're living in the now. And he's, he's quite competent. Yeah, it's got four titles now. Why not? Um, who likes us most? I mean, Hartman, do you have kids? Nah, he, he won't get kids. Uh, he won't get kids, poor man. Anno von Nürnberg. A bodyguard? I mean, he's 42 now. He should marry someone. Um, is there someone Carolingian? Huh. Not that many. Maybe this woman. And uh, we can grant him titles. He's an acclaimed knight. Uh, 
And he kind of likes us, even though he's an athe atheist. We can give him like three counties or something. Arno von Meissen. And then we have these two counties. Um, yeah, just a note. It's. I know that it is a bad decision to give people three counties instead of one. Like if if you don't want problems. If you want to play optimally, <coughs> that's also kind of a guide for you. Just give them only one county. Anyone else except you, just give them only one county. And um, because if they, have, if they have many counties, that can lead to problems because they're powerful then. You have to respect them. Otherwise, you can do what you want with them. So it's better to keep them poor. And have many of them, but um, we're we're role playing, and we we think like oh, this guy likes us. Let's give him a lot of land along these lines, you know. Um, we have also Lothar von Lengenfeld and Odilo von Plain, our guest. He's of the House Plain. I like that, and he's also pretty good in general. We could grant him that stuff here. Vogtland and Naumburg. Why not? He's Catholic, he's content, craven, trusting. He's like the perfect vassal. Let's grant him that. Here we go. How content, craven. Yeah. <laughs> no longer a wanderer. No longer a wanderer. Periocal. He wants stability, peace. Decentralization. He won't be too happy with our centralization, but yeah. And also, one of the best things to have as vassals is people that are cravens or something like that. It's it's just better to have a little bit of timid people around you, and that's why we're doing that. Yeah, we have a lot of devotion now. Watch your step now, Branislav. Okay. Let's see. We have no more of these, but... Uh, I believe we need a new bodyguard. Michael von Finstingen. He's vengeful, brave, and wrathful. This guy is brave, arrogant, and gregarious. Thitmar. Yeah, let's take him. Trust him more. Hmm. A master of the hunt. I mean, we really like to hunt, so maybe we should have a master of the hunt. Uh, can our son do that, kind of? Arnulf. Yeah, we want him to do that, and it will also earn him money that we can give to him. Now we have a lot of money currently because the Pope gave that to us, and we should um, we could visit the market, we could scrape the barrel. No, uh, we could train for a tournament. But what we really want to do is hunt and hunt again. Cannot arrive to that tournament. So we, we should... Oh, we cannot hunt because we're infirm now. That's terrible. We could... I mean, this would be... This would be the, the place to go either for a feast or for a pilgrimage. Now... What do you think we would decide for? We are humble, a zealot, and we're a holy warrior, and we're infirm. We'll probably go for a pilgrimage. It doesn't make sense in an optimized play way, but it makes a lot of sense for him. 
might be his last travel. Plan the pilgrimage. A pious pilgrimage, of course. And we don't know how far we can get, so we'll go to Cologne. Let us see. Uh, we, we could go Reflection. Relieving stress, altruism, or zealotry. Uh, we are firm in our beliefs, but we are also very stressed, so... Let's do it like that. Um, what do we need? We have him. It's not a dangerous route, surprisingly. Let's just start the pilgrimage. Here we go. Fresh start. All the while preparing for my journey, I've had this sense of serenity and knowing that everything will be all right. I'm pleased to embark on this pilgrimage to Cologne in order to get even closer to God. And now more than ever, I feel certain that he'll watch over me on my travels. I cannot wait. <coughs> Wonderful. And that's where we're traveling. Let's also have a look at our council. Where where are they going? County of Prague. Yeah, we should probably go and promote our, our culture now. First in Dudelby. Oh wait, let's let's find out where is the Where's the county capital for that? Because that will kind of count. Is it Prague? Yeah, Prague should be converted differently. Okay, promote culture in Prague. Also be seven years. That will have a big influence on the other things. Let's go over to Cologne. <coughs> the more the merrier. I'm plodding along in this lengthy procession towards Cologne and thinking of the comforts I left behind in Regensburg. When I hear my name shouted from the rear, my friend Waldo dashes up to me and exclaims, King Kalman, what luck that we journey toward the same holy site. Would you care for some company on this long and lonely path to Cologne? Mm, oh, we could, uh, we could become more pious. Oh, uh, we would insult him. So it's friendship against piousness. Oh God. Okay, I mean we are here to focus on our faith. It, it's just like that. We are, we're a zealot. We want to relax, but we're also a zealot. Other things stress us. Starry skies. Out here late at night, I sometimes look to the stars and wonder what's our purpose in life. Can God even see me this far from home? What am I doing all this for? Mm, it's my sacred duty, of course. We're a dedicated pilgrim. Yeah, that's what we are. It's just what we are. We have arrived at the great church of Cologne. The bishop offers some blessings. I reflect on everything that had to happen for God to bring me here. I have walked the holy path. Wonderful. What can we do here now? Well, we can reflect. And we're a pilgrim now. Mm. Yeah, even a dedicated pilgrim. Our son's ill again. No. What are we doing? The Disputation of Cologne. So we listen to the morning prayers. Engelbert and I have a lively discussion that quickly diverts into theological matters. It would be foolish to say that having been made flesh means that Christ inexplicably and incomprehensibly became man from the Word, having united together hypostatically. But as Nestorius himself said, Engelbert refutes, Christ the man would also be made divine, son by grace and not by nature. 
I will not listen to this blasphemous nonsense. Oh, God. We become more pious. Mm-hmm. We could convince him. And you know how the Council of Ephesus went down for him. We have convinced him. Now we are a zealous proselytizer. Nice. We convert faith better. We reach, Oh, we got a oh, good omen. Polis Lava spent time. Solitary prayer. They're all doing things here. Lothar von Lengenfeld engaged in silent contemplation. As we saunter past the stalls of the Cologne market, we're approached by a small child with wide, bright eyes. He peers up at us as he exclaims, I know it's uh, of a secret place where God lives. He puts on a determined face as he continues. I can show you if you want. Color me intrigued. Oh, they will kill us. Some way outside of Cologne, as we turn another corner, our child guide Hardwin stops dead in his tracks. The small body begins to tremble. And I can hear a stifled sniffle as he tries to hide the fact that he's crying. I'm sorry, my lord, they forced me to do it. My baby sister is sick and we haven't eaten in days. He looks over yonder, the big bright eyes suddenly fearful. We should turn back, he whispers cautiously. Hmm. Dear child, your honesty warms my heart. Yeah. We will give 85 gold to him. But we are very pious. Said Mary's secret revealed. Meow. I look down to see that my cats and Mary drop the scroll at my feet, sealed in my courtier matin's distinct style. Giving into curiosity, I skim the text, the love I hold for another. To think that he was hiding such a thing. We lead the communal prayer, nice. And spend time there. Lengenfeld protected pilgrims. Oh, now, the pilgrim's guide. Hard win. Should we try to... No, we cannot get him here to us. The markets of Cologne are bustling with merchants, shouting in languages that I've never heard, and selling spices I've never tasted. The guide of the pilgrim. Learn the safest routes. Discover the marvels of Cologne, one of them yells, waving a small book in my direction. Mm. Let me take a look. Ah, uh, that could be... I'll take one. We could get a local expert. God shall guide me. No, God shall guide me. Yeah, we'll become more pious. We're also more martial. Strict organization. A man's home. Let us defend a man's home. <coughs> <laughs> oh, court artifact lost, St. Bridget's Rib. Uh, what? The time at this sacred site draws to an end. I feel reassured that while I may not have been the most pious pilgrim out there, I have proven my dedication to the Lord in more ways than one. This being my first pilgrimage, and while no pilgrimage is exactly alike, I feel confident that I'm more familiar with what to expect from this type of spiritual journey in the future. Cologne, it's been an honor. Now, time to start the journey home. And uh, we succeeded in our reflection. Oh, and we are, oh, our spouse helped us. That's nice. Um, and I think we gained an artifact. St. Bridget's Rib. Wonderful. Gundbald will not accept. He will also not accept. Ah, well. Ah, well. Franconian women. I've seen the world and beheld its many wonders in my travels, but never have I beheld such beauties as the ones I've seen in Boppard. Truly, Franconian women are a cut above all the rest. One particularly fascinating specimen has taken my eyes 
late a peasant woman by the name of Brunhild. A pretty little sweetness, she's far too pleasing to my eye to spend her days slaving away in Bopard. She's, oh, she's a deceitful grey eminence. Ah, oh, wonderful. My new paramour? No. I cannot give my love so freely. I mean, we're a zealot, my goodness. We're on a pious travel. That's not what we'll do. Spouse aids us. Nice. Ah, the Czech Catholic populists. Regent furthers the mandate. Oh my goodness, an abuse of power. Cost 35 strife with Prince Arnold's peer vassals. Okay. I mean, we're okay with that because it's our son, right? He's our son and regent. And we'll return now. My journey's been a long one, and I've finally come home again. It's good to be home, we've concluded. No longer sharing power with our son. Prince Arnulf gained prestige. As he should, as he should. He's a righteous villain. Mm -hmm. um, he's definitely getting up there. We also have adventures. He's a respected expert and has focused attention. Does he have a weapon? No. He has the favor of a lady. So, that was an exciting time. So we gained a lot of area and we made we made an expedition over there to Cologne to celebrate. We're a pilgrim now. Ah, how great does that feel? Thank you for watching. Happy gaming to you. We will return very soon to the next episode. Have a great time until then and happy gaming. We'll meet in Bavaria again. See you soon and have a great time until then. This is Manuel Khan signing out.